Thomas Alva Edition History Part 18 The Vitascope was Edition's name for the motion picture projector. When he added sound, he called it the kinetophone, which he introduced commercially in 1913 or 13 years before Hollywood adopted that means of improving motion picture entertainment. With Wilhelm Conrad Rodgen's discovery of the X-ray in 1895, Edison turned his attention to the mysteries of these invisible rays. Within a few months, he developed the fluoroscope, which invention he did not patent, choosing to leave it to the public domain because of its universal need in medical and surgery. On 16th May 1896, he applied for a patent on the first fluorescent electric light, an invention that stemmed directly from his experimentation with the X-ray. At the turn of the century, Edison propelled himself into one of the greatest sagas of science, his search for the acidless battery. Others scoff at his theory that somewhere in nature, there existed the elements for a battery which would not destroy itself by corrosive action. But addition was not to be denied. After 10 years exhaustive experimentation, he produced the alkaline storage battery, which today is employed in hundreds of industrial applications, such as providing power for mine haulage and inter- and intra-plant transportation, and in railway train lighting. No field of scientific endeavor seemed foreign to his talents. When in 1914, a shortage of carbolic acid developed because World War I had cut off European supplies, Edison quickly devised a method of making domestic carbolic acid and was producing a ton a day within a month. 